What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. Kind of framing a narrative in which the killers in Scream 7 can not only be after Sam and Tara Carpenter, but they can also be after people like Gail Weathers and Sidney Prescott. So in this idea of mine, I am thinking of two killers. We're going back to just two. And one primarily will be after the likes of Sidney and Gail mostly Sydney. The other one will be after the likes of Sam and Tara and have something against those two. So with Scream 7, I'm thinking about what if Sydney Prescott in between the events of six to seven, maybe she was working on this a little bit in five, she's written another book. Now my friend actually came up with that idea, uh, but I'm doing some tweaks of my own to kind of flesh it out a little bit more. Now, during a book signing event, let's say this is something that went on after the events of Scream 6. During a book signing event for one of her new book releases, Sydney Prescott, she's attacked by someone wearing the ghost face mask because this person was influenced by the theories about Sam being responsible for Scream 5. So this individual thinks that Sydney was able to frame Billy and Stu despite the evidence that would say otherwise. This person is also obsessed with conspiracy theories and true crime. Sydney would kill this person in self-defense at the book signing. Um, you won't learn about this though until later in the movie, I will say that. In the opening of Scream 7, the opening kill I would say is going to be Christina Carpenter. She's murdered on set of Gail's new true crime series, which we know will be about Woodsboro. The limited series is stalled after Christina's death. Sam and Tara end up coming to the filming locations. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to say is Modesto. After they hear about Christina's death, Sydney's involvement is sparked after her attempts at hiding are rendered useless once more because Ghostface finds her and abducts one of her kids. Thus, she is going to come to Modesto to get her child back. A very easy way to get Sydney involved. In the end, you would find out that our two killers are Tara's dad and a newbie character that we meet in the movie related to the book signing victim attack that Sydney went through a few years ago or a year or two ago. Now, this character is related to the victim, hates people like Sam, hates people like Gail, hates people like Sydney, Tara, Mindy, Kirby, Chad, etc. You see the theme here. They hate the survivors. All these people to them are people who inspire the worst in others, like the conspiracy theory lunatics that we saw in or that we would learn about related to his 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 sibling who went after Sidney Prescott at a book signing because she thought that or they thought that Sidney Prescott actually managed to get away with the events of 96 because this was brought on by what happened in Scream in Scream 6 and the rumors that were going around about Sam. This person who's related to that victim is also from Woodsboro. They have always thought this, that the survivors didn't deserve to live because as long as they do, it's only a matter of time before it starts again and someone else loses a loved one. Then Gail will be there to profit off it. As always, it's a cycle that keeps going on and on and on and they just want this cycle to stop. Tara's dad would be the accomplice who is in on it because the relative of the book signing victim managed to track them down. He would have convinced him to assist, which was easy because during their monologuing, we would learn through Tara's dad explaining that Christina had tried to reconnect with him after the events of Scream 6 and revealed to him that she knew what Billy and Stu were doing back in 1996, which to him was an even bigger type of no-no because not only did you keep this secret from me about my daughter you're telling me you knew about what this man was doing back in 96 because in another twist we would find out that christina was actually planning to leave this man after billy got away with doing what he was doing in 96 but of course he died so she never got to do that she instead decided to commit to the man she was with which is tara's dad decided to lie to him to tell him that this is this is her kid and not not or that this is his kid and not billy's so Tara's dad is also, of course, very mad at Christina for lying to him and taking the anger out on his kids, mostly Sam in this instance, and Sam reminds him of the man he cannot stand now at this point, which is Billy Loomis. So he thinks that Sam and Tara also could turn out just like Christina, which in my mind could be him seeing them as loose girls that have no respect for men. That's all I'll chalk it up to. So your deaths in between this would be the cast of the true crime series and a few survivors from Woodsboro. Some of the cast that I'm thinking of in my mind include Sydney Sweeney, Brandon Perea, Charisma Carpenter, Sadie Sink, Lakeith, Lakeith Stanfield, and 
As far as like the overall goal of the killers, they're not going to be anybody who wants to get away with it. They actually want to get caught. They don't want to get away with it. These people see these people think of themselves as heroes in the long run. They think that they're doing the world a favor. They're tired of the exploitation. They're tired of all this stuff happening because these people our survivors continue to live as long as they live it's only a matter of time before it trickles down into impacting someone else's life like it always has and the book signing victim is going after sydney because of the fact that the person she killed in self-defense once again was their relative and this is someone who unlike that relative hates true crime thinks it corrupts people's minds similar how it did their siblings and they just are tired of all the exploitation. They think that the survivors for the longest time have not deserved to live. They are from Woodsboro. I mean, in a lot of ways, it's it's echoing back to some of the stuff we did here in Scream 4. We heard the crowd outside of uh, Olivia's house saying, saying, I thought this was over. And then heckling Sydney, oh, you're just like your mother. So there's there's got to be somebody in Woodsboro who could snap because they're just sick of this stuff. It's finally come to their front porch and they are sick of it and they want to put it into it all by going after all the survivors, eliminating any and all loose ends, the backdrop of it, yes, with Parallel Scream 3, putting it in a true crime series type of deal, type of deal and going from it, going off of it from there. So the book signing relative would be the one targeting Sydney and Gail Weathers primarily. And then Tara's dad, their accomplice, would of course be along for it because he was persuaded into it after what he had learned from Christina and all the anger he has pent up in him towards Christina and the anger about Billy. And he goes after his own kids because he's just at this point snapped. And he thinks that the girls are going to end up just like Christina. They're going to end up loose and have no respect for men. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. I recognize that, yes, it might not be the neatest, but if you have any ideas on how to, how to improve this, of course, chime in down in the comment section below. Or if you think of any positives from this, but you would take it in a different route, also chime in on those down in the comment section below just let me know your thoughts on this theory uh, i thought of it just out of the blue while sitting down on my lunch break today and i wanted to make a video on it to share it with you guys and get the feedback i shared it with a few of you before i even made the video and some of you told me that you loved it so again let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video